There's only 24 hours in a day when you subtract eight hours of sleep, going to class, studying, homework, practice, and oh yeah, eating three meals, the day seems so much shorter. Mental health can affect anyone, even people who seem like they have it all together, like those student athletes. Fox 43's Lindsay Barna catches up with two Millersville University student athletes trying to end the stigma by teaming up with a world-renowned nonprofit. There's an opponent that student athletes face that isn't visible to the naked eye. It follows them wherever they go. That opponent is mental health. I feel like I've always known it was a serious issue because I grew up being an athlete, but when I was growing up, I feel like I would just brush my emotions to the side. The NCAA did a study last year on mental exhaustion, anxiety, and depression, and they are one and a half to two times higher in student athletes since before the COVID-19 pandemic. Mental health is a serious issue around campus, and instead of ignoring it, student athletes at Millersville University face it like a rival team. Whenever I got injured, my mental health tended to spiral, and in high school, I didn't really seek out the supports that I did in college. So I wanted to um, sort of propel that sort of support forward and um, almost pay it forward to the people who helped me get through all my struggles. They're paying it forward by teaming up with a nonprofit called The Hidden Opponent, becoming campus captains to bring awareness to mental health issues and the stigma surrounding them. Maya Pereka and Jenna Dombrowski might play different sports, but they're on the same team when it comes to teaching fellow student athletes about mental health. They host an hour long session once a month to advocate, educate and support one another. Having this program will normalize the conversation um, so the people that are a little more fearful to talk about it um, can really use their voice. Knowing how to balance everything can be hard. You got it down where it's like, no, it's actually kind of a lot when you uh, break it down and look at like, okay, I have this much time to do homework. I have to practice at this time. I have class at this time. I also have to eat and then I have to get eight hours of sleep and it just all builds up to just one like ball on fire and the sessions can be eye opening. I think it opens up a lot of doors. Um, it's easy to say that, but it's another thing to actually see it. So these meetings kind of help with that a lot. It means a lot actually to see, especially other athletes that can relate. And then it's student athletes themselves putting on like the meetings. So it kind of shows a lot um, that everyone does struggle and that everyone deserves to get help. They're bringing the fight to the playing field. A Marauder baseball player saw the hidden opponent Millersville page and reached out to bring awareness at a game, not just talking to students, but also informing fans. It's one conversation that can lead to another to help save a life. I hope it means that we won't lose another person. While there's no guaranteeing it, I think that spreading the word and having these meetings is one way to show people that there is help out there. The hidden opponent has reached more than 500 campuses across the world. 42 colleges, universities and sprinkled with a few high schools are raising awareness in the Keystone State. E-Town, Franklin and Marshall, Gettysburg, Shippensburg and including the Ville have all campus captains that hope to turn the page against mental health. It's really incredible to see how many people are willing to get involved in this mission and I'm willing to support it, coaches, fans, players, and just really all types of people. We like to say we're a community for anyone who's at all involved in the sports world or even just sports fans. Lindsay Barna, Fox 43.